This is the video that I said I would do in reference to uh, how the Heavenly Father is going to give his men spiritual power. And by giving his men spiritual power, which on some low level, we that's involved in this ministry out there helping to gather the elect, and some, so, um, some low level, we have spiritual power. Because the word is spiritual and it's definitely a power for reference to that. You can go to the book of Hebrews 4 and 12, which explains that. But there's another level of power that the Heavenly Father is going to give his men. And, and we call that spiritual power, but it's a whole nother level. Okay. Um, this is the video that I said I would do based upon the scripture here, the inspiration of this scripture here, which... Um, I had saw a brother bring the scripture out and he went into the key word which brings that brings out that understanding which that is the word signs and that's from Mark 16 and 17 and the key word there was signs and we go into the Greek for the word signs and that's where we get all that understanding now I forgot which brother it was I think it might have been the brother from you know the elder from uh South Carolina, who's a very, uh, he's very uh, uh, pragmatic in the work, very businesslike, and that would be uh, the brother from South Carolina, Manata Zakba. Uh, I think it was him that I saw uh, brought that out. I can't remember, but um, I wanted to follow up on it and hopefully bring out some more edification. Yeah, so as always, this is another edition of the Daily Edification, the Daily Exhortation, and it comes to you, brothers, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai Baal Shem, Rakakwadash. All praises and glory is due. Yeah, so this, again, the book of Matthew 16, which I'll start at the 15th verse. It says, And he said unto them, the he being Yahweh Shai, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Why? Because the Israelites are scattered all over the world. And we do this now, in this day and age, we do this through the internet. You know, our videos come past the whole earth, you know. That's why you have something called the World Wide Web, all right, which is the internet. These videos go all over the earth. So we're fulfilling that uh, verse that is written here. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Why? Because the, the nation of Israel, pursuant to uh, many scriptures, Deuteronomy 28 and 64, Hosea 8 and 8, you know, the nation of Israel is scattered about all nations, right? As in all the world. So the next verse, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Believeth in what? This truth, this specific truth that we teach, the gospel which the word gospel means good news, which is only to the Israelites, beginning with the elect. He that believeth and is baptized, baptized is a metaphor for coming into this faith, you know, wholly giving yourself into it. Just like you would get baptized by water baptism, the water covers your whole body. Well, when you come into this thing, you, your whole mind, body, and soul is into this thing. So you, you are indeed baptized. That's the very uh, understanding of the word. Okay, in its relation to the verse. And his baptized shall be saved. Saved from what? The coming destruction, which is going to be by those missiles and the chariots. The chariots themselves are going to bring destruction. That's Yahweh Shai and the chariots. He said, I'm come to bring fire. Fire is going to literally come out of those so called UFOs, which are the chariots of the Lord, destroying everything in its path, okay, along with the nuclear missiles. So the only ones that's going to be saved from that is his, is his elect. That's what it means, is saved. Because you got these morons, right? And these so-called churches talking about they're saved. What are you saved from? Jeremiah 8 and 20 says, The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. So what the hell are you saved from? You don't understand these scriptures talking about you're saved. <laughs> you know? That's why we call you wacky. That's why we call you wacky-tacky Christians. You're wacky, man. You don't understand these scriptures. Saved means... When the destruction comes that the Lord is going to bring, he's going to bring destruction. When it comes and you're delivered from it, that means you're saved. Okay? Anyway, 